Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at how you can recover your files from your Android device. If they were files that were deleted, whether it was intentional or unintentional, whether they're files that are lost, you just can't find them anymore. Um, if they're on your phone or any kind of an Android device, even if it's a tablet, this software is going to find those files and show you how to recover them. Now, if you want to uh, check it out and follow along with me, you can download a free trial at recoverandroidfiles.com and just click download now and it'll allow you to download a free copy of it that will install on your computer and it will show you the files that it can recover before you have to purchase it. So I don't recommend you purchase it just yet, just download the free tr uh, version and I'm going to show you exactly what it does here. Give it just a second. Okay, now I've already installed mine, and you'll see here that it says the Remo Recover for Android has been designed to recover data from Android based devices like smartphones and tablets. This tool can re help you recover files of various types like documents, pictures, videos, music, applications, files, etc. And then it gives you two options down here one to recover deleted files. This is if you know for sure if you actually did delete a file intentionally and it'll, it, it has a way of searching specifically for those files or you can choose to search recover lost files so if you're not for sure how you lost the files if you deleted it or if for some reason they're just lost and not there no more maybe it's due to corrupted memory cards uh, corrupted SD card then this is the option you want to choose and once you choose this it's going to go to your Android device and what you have to do is you have to run a USB cable from your computer to your phone or your tablet and you have to make sure now with mine I have a Droid X and with my phone I had to make sure that it was set up uh, correctly I had to have it set up on um, the option to for USB mass storage uh, I know a lot of phones have different options usually there's like a PC mode a charge only mode and for for this uh, for this software to work it has to be set up on USB mass storage and what it'll do is, it, is it, it'll load drivers on your phone through your USB cable and then it's going to locate the the areas of your phone that saves information so normally your phone has so much information where it saves files and then usually there's also some kind of an SD card attached to the device that also stores and so you can see here that it found um, a device here. This is my internal memory. It has 1.86 gigs. And what this will do is it will it will uh, search this for all kinds of files. If we click next, um, what that basically says is that it wants me to go through here. And if I don't want this to take a long time, I can select which files I want to recover. For instance, if I just want to find pictures. I can go down here and select if I know that they're JPEG pictures I can just check mark it and it'll search just for those specific image types and so you can do that with each of these with pictures music video whether they're raw pictures emails uh, archives database files animation application document spreadsheets basically anything that you have on your phone it can recover for you as long as it's still there now please do understand if these are files that have been deleted or lost for a very long time off your phone there's a good possibility that those files may have been overwritten again and you may not get them back so I'm just I'm just warning you you know this this may not be able to recover everything especially if your files have been deleted for a long period of time and so but if you just lost them recently and you really haven't done that much to your phone there's a good chance they're still on there and and this will be able to recover those for you and so you can even add your own types of files so if you go over here and if there's a certain type of picture you're wanting to restore and you don't see that in here you can add your own extension by clicking add file type and you just enter your information choose a category and it'll add it and then allow you to uh, choose that as you're searching through your phone for the files and so once you choose that we'll just I'm just going to choose JPEG files and then we'll click next and it's going to go through and it's going to search all the files and the folders um, on the device that I selected the internal memory and then it's going to show me all those files that it found and then I have the option to recover those files uh, if I want to
And so this is a really great product for any kind of an Android device, whether it's a phone, whether it's a tablet. Now, I did try to install um, this particular product on my laptop and use it. And for some reason, when I installed it on my laptop, it would not... Um, recognize my phone through the USB cable so I don't know if maybe it's just my USB outlet that's on my laptop something's not wrong with or something's not right with it or what but I just want to let you know that um, I did have that issue but I did install it on my desktop computer and had no issues whatsoever it immediately found my internal storage device um, if I put an SD card in it found it as well so I just want to let you know about this product it's great to recover files um, to recover any kind of um, Android files that you lost or deleted and if you want to check it out and download it just go to recoverandroidfiles.com and you can learn a lot more about it it has all kinds of information on here awards that it's won what all it does uh, you can learn more about your Android device and like I said you can download it for free before you buy it and that is what I recommend you do just so you know for sure that it can recover the files that you're looking for and you're not spending money on something that you really don't have to so that's my review on this this is Remo Recover for Android and you can download it at recoverandroidfiles.com